ladies and gentlemen, this is the Morning Glory. My name is Eddie Law. You never seen this before. This is not a religious show whatsoever, uh, regardless of how many times people ask me if it is or not. It is not, so chill. It is, however, um, me dumping out whatever's on my brain first thing in the morning. And uh, quick before I get to, to any MMA whatsoever, um, uh, well, OKC losing last night to Golden State in, in Game Seven to get uh, for to, in the Warriors advance to the NBA Finals against Cavs. We get Cavs Warriors Part Two in the NBA Finals. Um, I mean, there's no other way to say it. Golden State would just play like a team, and, and OKC was playing one on one, which is what you didn't want to do if you're Oklahoma, if you're Oklahoma City. So. Um, you know, to me, there's really no reason to even break down the game. <laughs> so, I mean, what does this mean now? Obviously, Golden State goes out to the championship, and OKC could possibly lose Kevin Durant. A lot of people, a lot of talk before this after you know getting the three to, three to one lead. You know that oh Durant's never going to leave. Durant's never going to leave. There's a pretty there's a, there's a chance now at least that he leaves, right? So, uh, you got to wonder if Kevin Durant's going to stick around for the for the. Uh, for, for to put with Russell Westbrook and, and 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 the rest of the guys, or if he's gonna be like, you know, screw this shit, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go off to wherever, Golden State being a possible destination as well, because they're gonna lose Harrison Barnes and a couple of the guys, so they'll have uh, they'll have the minutes and they'll have the money, so especially with the cap raise, so um, yeah, Golden State, Cleveland, their finals again. All right, uh, MMA stuff. Uh, as far as any breaking news, any kind of news whatsoever, nothing really happened. Um, I didn't do any shows yesterday, so I could probably talk about what happened this last weekend. Cordy Garbrandt's a bad dude. He's a bad dude, man. Because um, Thomas Almeida has the face of an... He has, like, the look and the face of an assassin. All right? And Cody Garbrandt just went at him, hurt him, finished him off. It was actually a really good fight for Cody. Uh, for Thomas, not so much. He looked nervous, tentative. He was thinking too much. He wasn't just fighting, letting everything flow. He was just, you know think a lot about it and uh, it makes you wonder if he did just fight a bunch of you know cab drivers slash track you know uh slash uh, you know cans to get that 20 and 0 now 20 and 1 record um so or 21 and 1 whatever it is uh, no longer undefeated cody's still undefeated which is great um so again you gotta wonder like because it was weird to see thomas almeida not able to not able to pull the trigger uh, or unwilling to pull the trigger. He was like so, I think he was so afraid of making a mistake that he, he just didn't do anything. Like, that's what it seemed like to me, he didn't do shit. It was all Cody, it's Cody's fight. Cody, Cody, Cody fucking dictated where the fight went, what happened and everything. So I mean, hey, good for him. Um, I like I like watching Cody fight. He's a, he's a very aggressive guy, so. Uh, he very aggressive dude and he hits real hard, like a Mack truck. Obviously Thomas Almeida knows that shit now, so uh, yeah. Um, and the Comain Henan Burrell just didn't look good. I didn't like. I didn't I, like. He looked all right for the most part, but you know, you would think that Muta One Forty Five would have won the fight or would have would have made him a monster, right? And he just didn't. And I think you know, losing to uh, to TJ twice has taken its effect, you know, mentally, psychologically, and that will fuck with the fighter. If you don't have any you know confidence and any trust in your skills, you're kind of fucked. Um, but you know, good win, big name for Jeremy Stevens on his record now. For as you know, as far as, as getting the win over him, um, the Masvidal Lorenz Larkin fight was probably my favorite. You know, uh, just above the Cody Garbrandt fight, just because he was a monster. But uh, Masvidal, anytime Jorge Masvidal fights, that guy gives no fucks, man. Game breath in the card, it's fucking on. And it doesn't matter. Like you better, even if you're better on all, you know, in all areas, and you're probably gonna win the fight. You better bring your lunch, man, because it's gonna be a long ass day. Um, you know, Lorenz Larkin knows that dude's used to knocking dudes out pretty, you know, pretty, pretty easily. And Masvidal just has a, a chin and the will to just go after it. So that was an awesome fight to watch. Pretty much the one fight that disappointed the hell out of me was Jessica I. Um, Sarah McMahon fight. That was awful. Um, no, I get it. Jessica, I, you know, left herself wide open. She made so many mistakes in that fight. It was ridiculous. They were getting taken down so many times. McMahon literally just had to sit on her. And, uh, you know, she GSP'd her ass. You know, for, for, for lack of a better term. You know, just, you know, lay and pray. And, and that was it. Wanted to the fight. 
Um, now asking for a title shot afterwards after boring the hell out of everybody, I don't think it's gonna happen. Um, she's like, I like, I, I like a title shot, please. Like, no, no, you're not getting a title shot. Like, this, you're not not off of that performance at all. Um, you know, I like wrestlers, I like wrestling. I like in MMA. I only like I like wrestling when you use it to advance your position and get to a better spot. Not when you just content laying on top of somebody and, and holding position like that. You know what I mean? That shit's boring as hell. That's why people complain all the time about it. It's like, oh, we're great. It's a wrestler. Well, the wrestlers that use it to, to advance the, their, their, their position and shit, change jiu-jitsu, try to get you know submissions and all that. That's great. But wrestlers that just lay and prey on you are just the most boring motherfuckers on the planet. So. Ah, uh, so yeah, um, so yeah, that fight was disappointing, and and, uh, and and but McMahon made a good point. It takes two people, and uh, Jessica I made so many mistakes. It was just easier for for McMahon just to lay on her and, and win that way. So I mean, hey, good for her. She won. Um, and then the other fight that I liked on that card is uh, oh, the Brian Caraway uh, Aljamain Sterling fight. Um, Sterling dominated, made him look like a real fool in the first round. And then Caraway just dominated for two rounds after that. So that was uh, interesting. Um, you got to give it up to Caraway, though. You know, dude, dude showed up, you know, used his game plan, and, and, and won the fight pretty handedly. Um, but they gave him a split, but let's be honest, that was unanimous. It should have been unanimous. Anyway, what I like was after the fight, Azure and Sterling um, right away found the, uh, he got the Michael Jordan face, the crying face memes, and he was cool about it. He was like, I was waiting for this shit. He's like, well played. And I like a guy that can take losses like that. Because he's not—he's literally not, you know, he took it hard, but, you know, at the same time, he's like, hey, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm alive. I'm going to be fine. We'll be good. Just going to, you know, learn from this and, and come back stronger. That's the kind of guy you need to be if you really do want to fulfill your potential in a, in, in a in such a high level of, 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 uh, of a competition such as the UFC. Oh, I can't breathe for anything today. Freaking allergies are killing me. I don't know why. Well, obviously, because it's springish. So, anyway, um, I think it's all I got. Oh, I think it's all I got. I can't think of sh- stuff right now. And we got this weekend with like you know Luke Rockhold, Michael Bisping. Um, you know, a lot of people are coming. That more people than I thought. That's not. I'm not gonna say a lot because it isn't a lot. But more than more than more people that I thought would are coming out saying that they get if they're picking Bisping to win. I don't think they're just picking an underdog just to say it. I don't think they actually believe what they're saying. Um, it should be a, a, a pretty easy night at the office for for, for Luke Rockhold. Um, you know, fighting a guy on that's pretty one-dimensional on uh, uh, you know on a full camp when he's not when you know, not, and then on top of it, you know, you you uh, he's got one eye, you know. So Rockhold should be able to win this fight and and finish it really. Uh, in the comment, we got Dominic Cruz against Uriah Faber. Uh, an uncomfortable amount of people are picking Uriah Faber. And I say uncomfortable because I'm like, have you seen Faber fight lately? Like, like dudes dudes barely beating guys you should be able to, like, like bowl over. You know what I mean? He should be able to freight train some of these guys and he's he's barely beating them. So, um, yeah. No, I don't, I don't, I don't buy it. Uh, hey, he's not going to win. There's no way. I got Dominic Cruz in that fight by a mile. Uh, the card's decently stacked, actually. It's, it's a nice main card. Uh, the prelims are good. So definitely one worth watching. Um, it won't fill up the bar. So if you wanna, if you don't want to feel like paying 60 bucks at home because your friends are cheap as shit and they don't bring, you know, not everyone brings money. <laughs> I'll fuck it with you guys, but uh, not does that happen to me at all. My, my friends are cool. They actually pay up. But... Um, if you guys want to head to the bar and do it, that's a good, it's a good one because not a lot of people know who Luke Rockhold is, even though he is a champion, and uh, and not a lot of people know who Michael Bisping is, um, because he's not been anything huge as far as, far as like you know UFC goes. Everyone that thinks of UFC knows about Ronda Rousey, knows about Conor McGregor, and uh, who else do they know about? Well, who are the biggest names in the UFC? Conor McGregor, Nate Diaz, Ronda Rousey. Misha Tate, it, not even Misha Tate. I guarantee you go to like the the, the you know the affliction wearing motherfucker and ask him who Misha Tate is. He won't know, um, or he'll be like, oh, we had to think about it for quite a while. Um, 
the uh, uh, housewives know who Paige Van Zandt is because they're sitting there cheering for her on, uh, on Dancing with the Stars. I just found out yesterday she didn't win. So, uh, that was that. And, um, yeah. So, uh, overall, though, pretty good weekend of MMA coming up as far as UFC goes. Uh, I, I, I want to say it's a Bellator card, but I don't remember. Probably not. Um, I'm sure I'm forgetting something for this weekend. So, um, if you remember, let me know on Twitter. <laughs> And uh, I'll talk about it probably on, 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 a, on an afternoon dump episode today. Uh, shows, uh, I know there's nothing planned tonight. I believe we're doing the breakdown of UFC 199 tomorrow. Myself, Jesse, and a, and, and, a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a buddy of mine who I want to do tomorrow on the show. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Um, but other than that, just trying to, trying to get back in the groove here. Uh, life's been pretty crazy busy. So, trying to uh, uh, get in a kind of a rhythm again and, and get the shows going on a consistent basis. So, I know I haven't been as consistent as I used to be. I used to be like clockwork. And, uh, um, but just, you know, a lot of work, a lot of, a lot of stress and, and, and things, you know, going on. So, hopefully we'll be able to get some, uh, some, 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 uh, what would you call it? Normalcy? I don't know. Fucking a routine, a rhythm, right? And then be able to do these shows a lot more often and everything. Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, plan for today, uh, work, then, uh, hit the gym for about an hour, and then after that, go to, uh, go Nogi, so, got my, got my, uh, my, uh, uh, strength and conditioning, and then I got my jiu-jitsu, so two hours, solid work, well, two and a half hours, because jiu-jitsu can go longer, um, but, uh, two and a half hours of solid work, uh, definitely looking forward to it, uh, by the way, when you do something like that, you definitely have to feed yourself, because I have, uh, you know, screwed up a couple times and, and not eaten enough before I went to work out. And I felt awful. Like, I was going to be sick, like, halfway through jiu-jitsu. So, um, yeah. That would be something to look out for. All right, guys. You guys all have a wonderful day. Uh, wonderful evening, wonderful night, wherever you're at, depending. You know, overseas, I know it's nighttime and all that. So, you guys have a, have a good one. And I will catch you guys later. All right. See you.